Hello, beautiful Andromedan starseeds, and everyone else who feels drawn to this video, of course. Um, today we have a very interesting message, and I'm saying that because I already saw quite a bit in meditation before I drew the cards. So I already know that the concepts are going to be like high concepts, some of it, you know, um, might be very helpful to some of you who uh, have been wanting to astral travel. So let's get into it. At first, I saw uh, us traveling through a portal and it felt like it was like a small group of people. So it might be that each group of Andromedan starseeds, kind of a small group, is traveling together. Um, they look like portals, but at some points they even look like it could be traveling through the body, like through the veins and arteries. It was very interesting. <laughs> we were traveling for quite a while, but in the end we reached some kind of opening where after getting there, it felt like finding each other, but also ourselves. So what I feel that that was a message of was that we, each of us, are a part of each other. Obviously, if everything is all one, we are all a part of this one and we're different sides of the coin. So we can see ourselves in each other. And I felt like a stronger connection was being formed, not just between us and uh, our bodies and ourselves, but because of that, we're forming a stronger connection with each other, all of us Andromeda star seeds. And what I saw then, why I mentioned astral projection, is because I saw... Uh, the spirit coming out of the body, everyone getting out of their bodies and actually coming together and dancing around in a circle, just getting your hands together and just dancing around in a circle and just fun, enjoyment, happiness. And again, I really strongly feel that that was not only us um, with with one another, with each other, but also us with different parts of ourselves, like inner selves. So it was quite interesting. Um, after that, I felt like there was something being activated in the shape of a triangle. So... It started from, um, let's say, the chest area. So around where our armpits are. But kind of maybe five centimeters inwards. So it activated there and then it went straight up to the third eye and created a triangle. Created like some kind of connection. And I feel that this, activating this, is part of how we will be able to traverse the universe, even while we're here as humans. That's why I've been saying for those who, you know, are interested in our astral projection, I feel that this might help you a lot, activating this part of you. I'm actually wondering if any of these cards have a body so I can kind of show. Uh, it's not exactly. It was like, I guess on her, it would, the two points would be here. And then the third eye, obviously, here. So it connects like a triangle. I hope that makes sense. Um, but I felt it strongly in myself. Like this got activated. And just the connection there, it connects the third eye with the heart because this goes through the heart, the line. And it also uh, in the middle is the throat chakra. So it activates all of these and somehow allows something to, I mean, I guess it will allow us to um, astral travel or somehow 
become more connected. I really felt, um, I also saw as just becoming lighter, brighter, again, more connected, not just to each other, all of us Andromedan starseed, and of course, if you're not, if you're not sure if you're Andromedan, you too, since this is a message for you, anyone who feels drawn to it, um, all of us, but also with ourselves, and because of that connection that we're forming to ourselves, we are growing. So uh, let's see the cards here. We got the Fertile Void with Secret, secret Beginnings, which I'm not surprised is coming out um, because of what I saw. It really feels like this is has been a secret beginning. We didn't really know it was happening. It might have been kind of in the background. We've been working on it um, unconsciously. And now it's going to really start coming through and you'll start realizing that you're much more connected. Even if you can't go and astral travel right now, you'll feel that some of your senses are heightened. You'll feel that your connection is stronger. Um, so that is a definite that will be coming to you. And we also have the return, a new story. It's all coming together. It really feels like, you know, uh, us, we're coming together with our true selves. Like part of that might have been us coming together with ourselves and activating, again, activating those points in the body. Maybe you can try massaging those parts, those three points, um, and trying to activate them maybe in meditation, envisioning the points there. And it's interesting, I've heard about these points that are kind of in the chest area near the armpit. Um, but again, like I said, inward, um, like maybe five centimeters inward uh, before, completely not related to spirituality. Um, well, I guess everything is connected, so it kind of is, but it wasn't, a, yeah, I hope you get it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I've heard of those before and I didn't ever imagine that they could connect to the third eye and then something in this would get activated. But yeah, it's important to activate that and be conscious of it activating. Um, but yeah, it's all coming together. We're all coming together. Uh, we're all starting to realize who we are, why we're here, and how powerful we really can be. And the wild rose, do it your way and embrace your uniqueness. This is really making me think like there's everyone has their own way. Like some people have their own way of doing meditations. Um, everyone has their own way of obviously doing a meditation and everyone has their own way of accessing uh, higher consciousness and also connecting to higher things. Um, and even astral traveling, everyone has a method that works best for them. So whatever is your kind of goal right now, or uh, whatever you feel like this would be interesting to try and do, do it your own way, how you feel drawn to it. Um, <laughs> being reminded to say, um, there is this meditation that I recorded, um, which I'm not sure, maybe it will be even posted by now, um, that at the end there was a grounding part. And usually people ground by envisioning themselves either in mud or like sprouting um, roots, but I felt really drawn to guide everyone to enter a tree and allow the tree to teach you how to ground yourself. And in that way, the grounding is much more powerful. Um, so again, do it your own way. If you if it's not the standard way, it's fine. Whatever you feel works best for you will work best for you. And that's not just when it comes to spiritual practices. It comes to everything in life. So make sure that you're honoring yourself and your uniqueness. Also remember that each trait, each like, uh, each part of you is like it is for a reason. <laughs> now I'm being reminded to say, remember that uh, even astrology is very important. 
every single uh, astrological sign that you have been assigned in your natal chart is there for a reason. That means that you needed this, that you need this energy during this current life. For example, uh, Cancer and Taurus, if you have those in your chart, that means that you will be working a lot with family in this life. So uh, everything related to family will be quite important to you. And you. this is part of your mission, knowing that. Anyway, knowing more about yourself, I feel that is really the big message now that we are starting to get, our, to, get to know it ourselves on a deeper level and get to know why we chose what we chose um, before we came here, I guess. Um, that's very important and will obviously help us on our journey. Uh, let's get another deck out here and see what other cards can come through and help us. But it's all so beautiful and it's all aligning together. Like this card says, alignment. Who we have Earth here. <laughs> Interesting that I was mentioning that uh, grounding technique if you guys want you can try that for yourselves or even just go outside and try to connect with a tree touch this tree and ask it for help to ground you um and the process can be beautiful and it doesn't have to be a tree it can be anything you feel drawn to learning how to be human in the world but not of it yes we all know if you're watching this video you know that <laughs> You're not originally from here. But that doesn't mean that you can, you know, should hate it here. That doesn't mean that you should want to instantly go home. You're here for a reason. And you're going to start realizing more and more of this reason. And the more that you ground yourself, the more you'll realize all that. Because just... um connecting to the earth where we live where we are right now in this life from is so important to be able to access more of the the energies that we want to access to bring more of these energies these higher energies to bring um, about a better world for the future generations here Ooh, two cards came out right now. One is Lost Lands and the other, the Cosmic Heart. So, Lost Lands, so memories and gifts. You've done this before. <laughs> really interesting. It's really coming together, this message. I mean, it's really confirming what I was saying before, how we will be obviously getting to know more about uh, why we're here, what we what we're here to do, and most likely some of you will be getting to know more about your past lives, more about what you've done in um, just in the past, not just um, maybe as a human in the past in a past life or um, as an alien ET. Why you came here, and what power you really have, what abilities you've given yourself so that you can succeed in this life. Getting to know all of that will be very important. And I, something I'm receiving right now is that uh, a lot of information will come through from lost lands like Atlantis and Lemuria, Mu, um, and maybe even some others. Ancient Egypt is also coming through a lot of knowledge from then. So somehow you're going you're gonna to start finding out more about all of this. Uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, it just unlocking in your brain and you suddenly knowing it. It can be for some of you. Or you can be guided to a book or a video somewhere where it explains more of that. Or you just suddenly realize, oh, I think, you know, I feel like I've done this before. I feel like, you know, I, I know how to do this. I feel like I've heard of this before. Stuff like that. Um, for everyone, it's going to be a different experience. Again, we're all different parts of the whole um, and that's why it's so fun and interesting, isn't it? <laughs> we also have the cosmic heart, devotion, potency, and make your life a living, moving pra prayer. Oh. Uh, interesting that I read it as a living prayer. 
Maybe that's part of it. You, your life becoming a living prayer. There's um, nothing wrong with praying, by the way, for asking, with asking for help and with praying, with praying for the best to come to you, praying for the best to come to the whole planet, praying for something to come, like something specific to happen. Pray as much as you can and try to make your life as spiritual as possible. Connect more with the spirit because that's, you know, spirituality. Oh, spirit, spirituality is like breathing. It's breath, breath work. So make sure that you're breathing correctly as well. Breathing from the nose inhaling not into the lungs but into the diaphragm maybe into the belly breathing properly and staying calm making sure that you're constantly breathing uh, not taking shallow breaths but deeper breaths so that the whole of your body can receive this oxygen and something I'm getting from this card is also patience, being patient uh, about things. And not everything will come to you instantly. Knowing that we are on Earth right now, we are experiencing the 3D, so things will come slower, things will happen slower, and that's perfectly fine. This is how it's supposed to happen. You might um, been have been given some sign years ago and you start realizing something about it just now and you're probably thinking why didn't i realize that sooner you were supposed to realize it now not sooner right now in this divine timing divine moment yes um i don't know i just really feel like it's really important to um just keep being grateful as well, gratitude, and putting love into everything that you do, every action you take, everything you create, even if it's food, even if it's a drink, even if you're just grabbing some water, speak some beautiful words into it and allow it to take in that vibration. Sound is very potent intentions are very potent again potency coming through here <laughs> so keep that in mind you're powerful everything you do is just very powerful you need to realize that and you use it to your advantage oh we have hope here the love and acceptance love is yours recognize your divine worth and choose loving thoughts and exactly like i was saying Putting love into things. When you grab a cup of water, just even saying love, 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 <laughs> just saying that to the water, drinking it, you've just put the vibration of love, especially if you're really feeling it, like from the heart. You're putting that vibration into the water and then you're drinking it. So you are becoming more love as well. Oh, and I completely forgot. Now, <laughs> it's funny, my ears started ringing and I was wondering why is that happening. And then I suddenly remembered that I forgot a crucial part of the meditation, which is that I saw after the dancing, we started swimming. We started swimming and it felt like swimming through emotions, just diving deep into emotions, into memory as well. Water holds memory swimming but then we became a comet and this comet had so much energy so much fire and that's what activated that's what activated those points within us so these points one two three three um so diving deeper into your memories and and emotions Infusing them with love will help you and allow you to connect these dots, connect these points, and to activate them so that you can 
activate more of your abilities. Again, recognize your divine worth. Recognize how powerful you are. I mean, something that I'm being told to say now is that we should remember um, a lot of people talk about Atlantis and how uh, advanced they were. But it wasn't because they had technology like now. It was because their bodies were the technologies. They the technology. They were using their bodies as the technology. They weren't, you know, they didn't have cell phones. They didn't have internet. <laughs> They're probably still <laughs> riding on horses and donkeys. Um, but it was them using their bodies as the technology to do what we do now with our technology. Like, that is what, why they're called so advanced, like such an advanced civilization. So it's all about our bodies, how powerful they actually are, and how we can unlock that within ourselves. And we also got Archangel Michael here, trusting heaven. You're safe, angels stand close, surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. So if any of this scares you, if anything is making you feel a bit uncomfortable, allow that to just pass through you. Allow that to be worked on by angels, by if you'd like to call in Archangel Michael himself. Don't be scared. We are here for a reason. We're always protected. Dive deep into yourself, into your past, into your emotions. No matter how dark it is, darkness isn't scary. Darkness is just there so that you can recognize the light. You becoming dark for even a second doesn't mean you'll stay dark. You becoming heavier for some time doesn't mean that you'll stay heavy. Recognizing all of that, giving it love, will help you move through and move on. Let's get a one last deck here because this video is quite long already. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, by the way. I hope you're having an amazing day, and I hope that this video will help it become even better. Ooh. And we got here the Cosmic Sapphire. Act with honor and integrity. Speak your truth. Always speak your truth. Always embrace yourself and your uniqueness. Live in your truth. And yeah, act, acting with honor is really standing out to me as well. N like knowing your worth and not letting anyone abuse you or use you. Not letting yourself put yourself down. Because a lot of us do that. We just put ourselves down like, I don't think I can accomplish this. Or I doubt I'll ever be able to do this or overcome this. Know that you can do that and speak nicely to yourself. <laughs> um, use loving words and believe. What's the worst that could happen if you believe? It just doesn't happen. But... So what? You still had fun believing, didn't you? And don't put too many expectations on things as well. That's another message coming through. <laughs> Um, so satisfaction, honor your uniqueness again and coming out right under this card. Do what makes you feel good. So again, be yourself. Do what you love. And look for the signs. Pay attention. Expect an answer. Now is the really, really the time to connect, to ask questions, to want to go deeper. Now is the time to go deep, to have fun. And like I said, everyone has their own way of going deep. Some people will go into meditation and do that. Some people might go and um, maybe read an old diary or look at old pictures. 
Some people might talk to um, their parents, grandparents, or someone from their past. Others might start um, doing something that they loved doing as a kid, or that even if you didn't love it, that you did a lot as a kid. Again, there's so many ways of doing this, of unlocking this, of just being. <laughs> so be proud of what you are and what you love. Be proud of everything because every part of you is magical, is beautiful. And again, you're here for a reason. There's so much for you to discover. It's just beautiful. Look for the signs and pay attention. Listen, listen, listen. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. If you got to this part, I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you thought about any of this. Um, are you excited? And have you ever tried to astro project? Has it ever worked? I'm curious. Uh, anyway, if you're interested in a personal reading, details on how you can contact me are down below. Also, I hope you have an amazing day and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye!